Toxic pacifism. So what is it? Essentially, it's the idea of being pacifistic, but in a bad way, where essentially it's just bad, where it still badly affects the people around you in a certain way. And it's, it doesn't really perceive you as a good person. It just makes you look more like a coward, essentially. And I'm going to tell you two, two stories about this. And we're going to like one scenario I had with a friend who I was talking to on the phone. I was at work one day and I had an, and this guy at my job had a heated argument with my manager. I think it, it was a closing shift and she had said something about, and she had like basically was like took a gripe at us and said, hey, you guys do know you, you kind of, you let your racks die out too fast. And essentially what a rack is, is a pizza rack and we have to keep racks up of commonly bought pizzas maintain specifically pepperoni pizzas and cheese pizzas and they died out so the whole time we were just making stuff per order and while there was no rack and you know we didn't have anything in the hot and ready box you know we just had to roll them per order and they she ended up saying yeah you guys let your rack rack die out and i don't know the guy at work who i'll call max essentially he had an argument with her with her and my boss, I'll call her Jamie, I guess, even though that's a guy's name, but it, it could also be a girl's name if it's spelled different. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, he had an argument with her and because, okay, he felt disrespected in that situation and had an argument with her, essentially, and, you know, what Jamie ended up doing was that, it, it, you know, the, the whole thing got, got, got heated and they were just arguing the whole time and I was just like, okay, no, I don't, now, to some extent, okay, I I kind of didn't care about the whole thing. I kind of just wanted to go home, so it's like... And the way he tried to insert me in that, like, that was... He kind of forced me to insert myself in that situation was bad because I kind of didn't care, too, and didn't find, a big, find that to be that big of a deal. Like, like okay, if our manager thought we could have done better, she thought we could have done better, and she didn't even say it in, like, a rude way she was insulting us or or added any name calling or anything like that so it was just genuine criticism and that was it but and he and he came up to me and said oh hey Aiden, involve yourself in this like hey like help me help me here essentially those weren't his exact words that happened over a year ago so i don't remember exactly what he said but i immediately as a knee jerk just said, no, 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 I have nothing to do with this. I have nothing to do with this. And kind of just, you know, tried to discard myself from the situation when, which, which looked bad on his end too, too, because then it made him look kind of dumb in that situation. If it's like, okay, I didn't care really. And he didn't care, but essentially what, what happened there was that, okay, the manager, I think that just made the manager more right in his eyes, seeing that I didn't care too. And now he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I don't, I, he's a good guy. He's a good friend of mine. And I kind of do hope to reach out to them one day, essentially. And, but I don't know. I've since lost their number <laughs> though. And I need to get it back and find some way to get it back, essentially. But, and, you know, talk to them more about this, because it, it's such a weird revelation I had. And what I did, essentially, what I ended up doing, what he, no, what he ended up doing, essentially, was that uh, the next day he came and said, hey, you kind of pissed me off yesterday. He was kind of complaining about the whole thing to other people, too, and saying, like, oh, yeah, that was so annoying. Uh, Jamie, Jamie was being so... Yeah, Jamie was being so annoying and, and disrespectful and blah, blah, blah. But, and then he even, like, as a quip added me, you know, kind of told me, like, hey, you also kind of pissed me off throwing me under the bus like that, too. And that made me realize that, yeah, I, I think I was kind of quick to just insert myself in a way. And I kind of just told him, it's like, no, I just don't like arguing with people. And, you know, and pacifistic like that, and he just kind of didn't like that, and was like, what, no, <laughs> and it was, 
it, it, it was a weird situation and I do believe I still could have done it and the way I could have essentially handled the whole thing was maybe not take anyone's side but at least like at least acknowledge that, like hey man I see why you're upset but still I feel like this arguing this arguing really isn't gonna help and like okay if she thinks we could have done better she thinks we could have done better and that was it really because it, it that was like kind of an awkward spot to be in too because it's like okay essentially this is our boss we're arguing with that he wants me to argue with essentially and i could i I don't know if i could have gotten fired for that too so yeah so yeah it, it, it was weird it's jarringly weird to think about but i don't know that kind of did feel like the equivalent of like say which makes me wonder like in another situation where, oh, okay, I think I could have looked more bad, and this was in a conversation I had with another friend, uh, Darius, Darius Neon Dennis, essentially, or Di- Darius Neon Dennisis, uh, follow the guy on SoundCloud, he makes really good music, and we have, like, this big collaboration that we're doing right now that's gonna be great, so look forward to that, stay tuned, for, like, a little plug here and there, mm. and... You know, essentially what end, and we had to talk about, okay, if we were to, if we were to be hanging out in the city one day, and we get jumped by two guys, so basically there's two of us and two of them, we get jumped by two guys, and the guys are beating him up, he's getting stabbed, and, and instead of, like, trying to jump in and help, I instead run to go get the police, or go to a police station, to go find somewhere to call the police. And yeah, when I get when I told him about that, he said he would be mad. He would be very mad. I think I would be if somebody ever did that to me. And I wonder if that was like legit how Max felt in that situation where it's like, yeah, Frankie might do this if if we're in this scenario and probably wouldn't want to hang out with me and go out with me in that way. And that's where I think t- pacifism is like, okay, for one, you need to learn how to defend yourself. You need to learn how to defend yourself, essentially. And you can't just say, okay, yeah, I'm a pacifist, so I'm not gonna learn how to defend myself. I'm not gonna exercise. I'm not gonna, you know, learn how to argue with people and win. <laughs> you know, because if you're put in a confrontational situation like that, you know, you're going to have to know how to defend yourself, essentially. Like, like yeah, and just, you know, train to use it in hopes that you don't have to use it essentially like i take karate classes right now and i've been practicing in boxing and basically training on how to box and how to do karate and you know knowing how to use it and how not to in hopes that i don't actually have to use it and hurt somebody too who's trying to hurt me but so but you know it's just this weird thing where it's like you know i don't seek actively seek out to beat people up it's just i don't want to break my neck or get stabbed or i don't want that to happen to my girlfriend either oh yeah and i know you guys are gonna like legit look at karate and be like oh what the hell you're using karate dude you're gonna get beat up and here's the thing at the dojo i go to the people who run it used to be in the military and are very and are very real and clear about what works and what doesn't work too and they also teach a different and they also teach a multitude of things too other than traditional karate and and stuff like that they teach they teach boxing they do teach some mma stuff also and probably some jujitsu because they they also mentioned that yeah but like during the first like set we did where we were just doing the somewhat basic stuff like the yeah 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 you know he they did say that yeah it's like that doesn't work but it's a good but it's like a fun exercise to have in cardio and stuff essentially and stuff like this has a higher chance of working too you know you know You know, stuff like that has a higher chance of working than, yeah, ka, ka. <laughs> you know, you know, so they're real and they will tell you what works and what doesn't work. But, uh, so yeah, 
Yeah, don't laugh at me because I said karate. Please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that will be it for the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.